Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Doing another fan service. Uh, a viewer requested Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Uh, said something that uh, about a config.txt file. Uh, I didn't have that issue uh, if I installed it through Lutris. So I'm going to open Lutris and then click the plus button on the top left corner. Install a game, executable. And then I'm going to give it a name, Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. and click install uh, this location is fine with me and then I'm going to select the setup file so go to your downloaded folder and select the setup file okay install this is a pretty old game but it's a good one So wait for it to set up the folders and then the setup should be popping up soon. Okay, so select English. I'm going to turn off the music. And then make sure this is the file you want. Everything looks good here. Next. And then uh, it's by default on D drive, which is my SD card, I think. Yep, so I want to put it back onto my SSD. So I'm going to uh, create it in C drive. C drive games, Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. You don't have to, you could install it in your SD card if you want. Okay, and then all the dependencies. And let's get it rolling. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this part. So see you in a bit. Okay, so once we're done, uh, I'm not going to launch it and I'm not going to open the repack list. So this is checking the MD5 to make sure that the files are installed correctly. Once that's done, just uh, click the cross. And then we're installing the dependencies. Direct X. Yep, can't install it. Uh, nothing we can do about it right now, just leave it. And then we're going to install Visual C, the x86 version. All right. Visual C, x64 version. Okay. .NET. Uh, it's already installed, so we don't need to install it. Just close it. And we're done. And we can just click Launch. See if it works. So it's running. Yes, we got the launcher page. And let's click play and see if it runs. Looking good. Don't think there's an issue here. I read online about that config text file thing. I think it's... Um, it's when you do it the other way, when you just copy it over and it can't find the config file. So uh, I tried it on Lutris and it was fine. So I guess this is a quick and easy way to do it. All right, so it works. So I'm going to quit out of it. And then I'm going to change the settings, I guess. Uh, I think 720 is okay here, or 800, so Steam Vex 800, 1200 by 800, but um, we're going to create a Steam shortcut, and then we're going to exit out of Steam here, 
make sure it's completely exited make sure the icon at the bottom bar is gone and then we reopen steam to make sure that the make sure that the shortcut is created properly okay final fantasy 8 remastered all right so we got it we've got to check the properties make sure it's a flat pack lutris yep this is the shortcut then I'll see you in gaming mode. Okay, so in game mode, go to library, non Steam, and then Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. We're gonna change the artwork. That's the first thing and most important thing we need to do. So go and change the artwork. I normally use the official artwork, but that's up to you. You could choose whatever you want. Okay, almost there. Alright, so let's start the game. Okay, so we got the launcher menu. The resolution isn't correct, so change it back to uh, 1280 by 720. Full screen, all right. And yeah, let's run the game. Should be okay, I think. Okay, see if we can continue. Nope, we don't have the save data. So, new game. Oh, this brings back memory, but it's pretty old. So it's a 4x3 four, four aspect ratio, yeah. I thought they fixed it, a widescreen fix or something with the remaster. Guess not. Uh, you can't cut, you can't skip the cutscene. So, um, I guess we would have to watch it. Because I want to make sure we can control everything. But we're in the cutscene right now, we can't do that. So this, yeah, as I said before, this was requested by a viewer. So if he's watching, I uh, hope this helps you out. If other viewers want to make a request, um, feel free. But please let me know um, uh, why you can't install it. You know, what's what's blocking you? So maybe I can research a bit before I do the installation myself. To save some time. Yeah, I'm getting more and more requests uh, right now, so yeah. Uh, if you have a game you want to uh, play and you can't install it, just let me know as soon as possible. Because later I might get too many requests that I can't get the people that hold. Or it might take me a long time. So that's a good time, since the channel's small. Please help like and subscribe, it really helps my channel. I'm trying to get monetized, I want to know how much I make making videos. Uh, I need a thousand subscriptions. That's the minimum requirement right now. And I'm doing a series uh, to be transparent and, and you know open all the data. And you know, if I if I do get monetized, I'm going to share that information too. So I'm, getting, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, if you want to help me out, please please like and subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. The graphics are pretty good for 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 the time, I guess. I think this is one of the best looking graphics for the time. If not the best. Probably the best graphics. This game came out. Final Fantasy VII came out in 1996. 
Games didn't take that long to make back in the day. Now games take like seven years. Alright, so it's running pretty good on the Steam Deck. Pretty good. So can we move the character yet? Okay, a little bit of dialogue I'm guessing. Oh okay, the buttons work. What about the controls? Okay, yep, yeah, they are working. It's fine. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if this video helped you out, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.